Wildcats from Lander University, and it's going to be Sparrow last Rock Jaw, that's going to be a matchup that I am absolutely slavering over right now because we know that Blakey Blakey has a few uh, has a few pretty good solid tanks in their back pocket. We just haven't had a chance to see Lander University yet, Jeff, and I think that's really what we're going to be looking at. We also got Rallis and Shady uh, rounding out this Wildcat lineup here from Lander University, and now we'll have you take us through the Center Esports uh, College White. Uh, roster. Yep. So take a look at the Colonels here. Center College. We have Blakeu Blakeu. Uh, we got Doodoo Boodoo and a bunch of other names as well. Uh, Blakeu Blakeu, kind of the star of this show. Plays a lot of Reinhardt, plays a lot of Doomfist. And makes for a very interesting comp. Another thing to notice here Big Soup playing DPS here for Center College today. And Star Garden stepping into the support role. This is a bit of a shakeup from what we saw in the regular season. Big Soup had, had played support for the most of the regular season, although there had been some shifting around. I'm curious to see what this means for this first map. Speaking of first map, let's figure out where we're going. Yep, we are, of course, going to start on control. And well, we're going to our newest of the controls, and that's going to be Samoa. So, man. I mean, when we talk about Samoa, my friend, you know, it's still, there's still this getting to know you period that we're going through right now, especially as casters. Sure. Um, and, you know, I, I mean, I, I think that you see a lot of beach, uh, you see a lot of volcanoes. So I'm, I'm very interested to see uh, what this is going to look like. There's a look downtown uh, as we get ready to take a look as into our game footage. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very curious to see what kind of metas have set up here uh, in this Mideast uh, emergence region? Because, you know, uh, looking at, you know, the, like the pros and looking at, you know, like a, like T2 and, and such like that, uh, we, we see a lot of Sigma being played. We see a lot of Doomfist being played as well. Doomfist works very well right now. Doomfist is in such a good place. I, I, it's almost the natural counter, not quite there uh, to Sigma. I think Orisa still works very well against the Sigma as well. So we'll see uh, what these two teams decide to come out on here. Doo -doo 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 Big Soup is going to be the focus here for Center College White to get those kills going through. But we know that Blake and Blake can turn a match around. So it's uh, undefeated. Planner University Wildcats coming up against the Central College White squad. And, well, this is getting our season kicked off nice and bright. Playoffs. Uh, that's anything can happen in playoffs. There's just a magic to postseason where it feels like it's a bit of a level playing field and a perfect opportunity for Center to College to come in and stamp their stamp their name here in the emergent semifinals. Winner of this match will move on to grand finals as we prepare to get this underway. Starting off here in Volcano, and this would be a perfect place for a Doomfist or a Reinhardt, which is what Blakey Blake was showing us. We're getting a bit of the old tried and true with the May Bastion. Is the Sigma from Rockjaw coming out from Lander? Well, I mean, Center College has gone up against this quite a few times this season, and they have been very, very adapt to be able to just counter it out and get the kills as they need it. So we'll see if this mechanical advantage that they have really shown a uh, propensity for here is actually going to work out again. Arrow in the back, looking for the perfect opportunity to move in, and already Big Soup falls. It's an icicle from last to start things oh, off. No. Uh oh, Dudu Budu just had their escape blocked. Immortality field has to be used. Shield up. Dudu Budu manages to get out of there alive. Blake and Blake, who under a bit of pressure, just trying to back around the corner. All this map control belongs to Lander, and they've even got possession of it. But a kill under Rockjaw could turn things around here, Billy. Yeah, but I mean, we need to look at and see how they get on top of it. Yeah, once Sigma's gone, the entirety, well, I say that, the entirety of the composition should have just been broken, but yeah, that's going to be a tactical retreat. Flip is going to come through for Center College White. Look at Blakey Blakey, almost has Shatter online already. And Adama, you know, the DPS star that we've seen for the majority of this season, Jeff, playing very well on the Baptiste here, has that window ready to go. Yeah, we've seen Adamaw play uh, the BAP before in the season and looks really good on it. So no surprise to see a traditional DPS player picking up the Baptiste. I mean, kind of has some some DPS aspects to him. Speaking of, here's that amplification matrix you were talking about. Shatter Woo! is going to go down and pick up two. Does not find the Bastion, but last is low, or Sparrow goes down. Last will eventually get finished off and another good fight win here from Center College. That's a good, fantastic. Just one ultimate into that fight, and they completely take the advantage. And now you're going to be looking at 
possibility of maybe a teleporter getting this this uh, Reaper into the back line of Lander University. You see that Shady is very quick on the draw with this immortality barrier. So, you know what? They might have to invest both support ultimates just to weather the storm that's coming from Center College. Or oh, Center College has enough to respond with. It's going to be a death loss to start things off. Immortality Field and the hands from Sigma both used early. Implication Matrix thrown up. The Blizzard is in as well. Lantern University managed to respond to that Death Blossom beautifully as last freezes everyone in place. Yep, they did in, They did end up investing both of their support ultimates, but they get the fight win. They also got the Blizzard out of Lander. So, Center College White, they do have a couple of initiators here. Blake Blake over to the Sigma, already 50% towards the Gravitic Flux. Star Guard's got to be very, very judicious of when they decide to engage this sound barrier. I mean, we're closing in on the 30% mark for Lander. Lander, uh, if they're tracking this, should try to get the sound barrier out before using the Gravitic Flux. Perhaps this could do it. The artillery strike will at least get the immortality field out. Mm. Healing now required here from Center College before they can re-engage back onto this point. But here they come. Gravitic Flux is canceled. The sound barrier is down. Center College with a big advantage into this. They got to take care of that immortality field and Stargun does it. Now it's the hunt for Rockjaw. Doodoo Boodoo will find their prize. Claim that bounty. Moving on to the objective, Center College are in a prime position to flip this thing back over. There it is at 55%. I mean, that's a uh -oh. great... Well, okay, the trade. The trade. If that trade doesn't go through, it's an immediate re-engage there from Lander University. But instead, they can just kind of kite back, get their speed advantage. They've got the Gravitic Flex in their hand as well. Let's see if Rockjaw can get a creation to cancel their opposing Gravitic Flex. You're so right about how crucial that kill from Star Garden was. Blakey Blakey, now with a Gravitic Flux of their own after swapping over to the Sigma. With this Immortality Field out early, this could be it. Implication Matrix has to be invested in. And the Gravitic Flux still finds one, but that's all they're going to get. Another Phenomenal Blizzard coming out from last will seal the deal here in this fight. I mean, we're watching last just basically track what Blakey Blakey is bringing to the table. And then once they see that kinetic grass go out, they know it's go time. And, and especially with Stargarden having to amp heals to really keep this team up during the mid fight, they have no resources to get them out. So, I mean, Doodoo Boodoo next up online, they're on the chopping block here. Sound barrier at the ready for lander. Yeah, this is going to go down to final fight. Doodoo Boodoo sneaks around on the outside, gets two good shots down onto Rockjaw, forces out the hands, and is looking for a place to use. F Blossom. And that's the wall from the whoa, middle. Whoa. Sparrow was ready for it, though. South Barrier News from Lander University. They've got the edge in this fight. Center College have to respond. Blake and Blake is already down low. Nobody close to an ultimate as we're approaching 99 99 on the board. And Lander whoa, are whoa. in control. Rockjaw with a Gravitic Flux and a brilliant rock to take Big Soup out of this fight. Sparrow's going to mow down one. Blake and Blake is in trouble in the corner. This is Lander who are going to smash their way into a round one win. Whoa, back and forth, back and forth. You love to see it. It's play and counterplay. I and mean, we're seeing both these teams just absolutely landing some haymakers here in Volcano. Uh, it was explosive. It was fiery. Now, I mean, what do Center College do? They came out of the Rhine comp. They got immediately punched in their mouth. Uh, and that's, I mean, you saw, you know, there was good work getting done. But then they decided to opt into the mirror with the Sigma. They stayed on this reaper and symmetra i think that was the problem is that you just weren't the same mitigating factors that you can do with this uh with a bastion with the uh with the bay and i think that just a little bit of compositional difference there a uh, big shout out to our observer carol for catching that uh move from doo voodoo that was that was really awesome impeccable camera work to see them go underneath and then pop back up top and we get to see sparrow just mow them down as they emerge from the pit Awesome stuff. Lander now with a 1-0 lead here as we head into downtown. No comp change from Lander University. In fact, no comp change from either of our teams. Uh-oh. Yep. Oh, you can get out of there? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. And that's kind of my question here for Center College is what's the plan with the teleport? When you bring the sim, you got to use it to really get your team rotating around the map quickly. And we have, haven't really seen that thus far from Center College in this Symmetra strategy. Shady coming up with a big pair of kills there in the back end. Oh, yeah. I mean, taking down not only their, their opposite uh, in the mirror, but also, you know, taking out that Symmetra. And this is a fight win here. This is going to be first point control going over center right or into Lander University. But here's the real question. Where is Rat King? Rat King is a normal DPS here for the Center College White squad. And they are sitting on the bench right now. So maybe they have a definitive strategy that they've decided here for uh, this control map. 
We'll see if this comes back to bite him in the rear end. Iraqi's played a lot of support for him as well, and it tends to be the Bastion player here for Center College, which I think is why they're not they're not running the Bastion right now. They don't have the person who typically runs that hero in the in the lineup at the moment. So the Symmetra Reaper is gonna have to do if Center College wanna try to take this one back, but they're running into an amplification matrix. That shield gets immediately deleted, as does both your supports. Well, at least one of them goes down. Stargun somehow managed to get out of there, but still with two in the dirt, Center College have gotta get out of here. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's up to Starter Garden to get Blakey Blakey out of there and, and into this next fight. Now, uh, there was a 20% difference between uh, Blakey Blakey and Lock and Lock Rockjaw. Well, that just got closed in a hurry because of that, uh, because of that camp matrix. Down bear from Morales, perfect. We'll deny the value for Blakey Blakey due to Boo to try to go follow up on the outside, but there's still just too much shielding to work with. Invocation Matrix from Adam all up front as Center College trying to bring this back before V5, but the Gravitic Flux is going to find three, and it slams him down into a blizzard. There's just no get out of that. That was nasty. Absolutely perfectly played. Rock Jaw and Sparrow going up with the Gong of Death there, and I mean, that was just fantastic work for them. Look at this. Just filthy all the way around. Uh, and Big Soup tried to use the Photon Barrier to block that, and Mortality Field was used as well, all to no avail. Well, I mean, you've got the sound barrier uh, to engage right now. You're going up against, uh, you know, that the blizzard and the, and the flux are offline. So, you know, maybe you get aggressive with this here, especially with that teleporter going behind them. Yeah, this is what we're talking about. Much better rotation here, but they do walk into an artillery strike. And the immortality field has to be used early. Starguard's going to drop the sound barrier and try to get aggressive here with Center College. They're not able to get a whole lot of the back of it. Sparrow just drops the wheels down and the Gatling gun keeps Center College at bay. Now we got a Death Blossom in, but that gets blocked by the Kinetic Grasp as well as an Immortality Field. It's still no kill. Center College do manage to flip the point, but they have yet to find any Elims in this engagement. I mean, this is just a great kiting coming from... Oh, Lady nice there it is. That was That was the one that did it there. I mean, now it's just about, you know, how long can you stall this set this Lambda University squad? Because Center of College is just on the back foot right now. Oh, Blake and Blake was getting work done, though. He's kind of got the rhythm against Rockjaw. You see the shield block on Rockjaw's accretion. Managed to land one of their own onto last. Unfortunately, not able to solidify that kill. And Rockjaw responds as the pressure comes back. Blakey Blake, Blake who no longer in the fight, and Landry University are surging forward with the Gravitic Flux. Picking up a pair on that one. Last manages to take down Starguard with some eye sickles while Rockjaw punches at him all right in the face. Yep, that'll do it for Samoa, and Landry University are taking the win here in Samoa. Uh, I think they felt a little bit uh, aggrieved after t losing that map in their quarterfinal match, and they come out here Tuesday. That's something that I, I kind of want to keep an eye on here when we're going into king's row is the the synergy between rock jaw and less how many times did we see a flux into a blizzard? You know, if we did have that uh, flux go up and the blizzard wasn't online how many times did we see last in the kill feed uh really following up on the back of said gravitic flux so rock jaw and last got something going on right now it is cooking like a very very low sima and i'm very happy to see it right now so yeah we need to see well, last is vicious with those icicles as well. Oh like the accuracy from those icicles was nasty. The walls too. I mean, they completely won Samoa on the first fight by blocking off Big Soup on that Symmetra, walling him off, not able to use the teleport to get out of danger. And they never relinquished control except for once. So, I mean, <clears throat> the, the the brains on this May player right now, Dudu Voodoo's de definitely got their work cut out for them. Lander making no changes. This is oh, this wait, is what wait. has got him this far. Uh, Lander are very practiced in this composition, as was evident there on Samoa. Ramatra. Uh, so not expecting much. Yeah, we do have another Ramatra instead of the Sigma. You know what? That's a very good point, Billy. Yeah, Ramatra here. Uh, so I mean, you want to walk past the experimental barrier, get into the Nemesis form, really absorb a lot of damage coming in. They may have been expecting this, uh, seeing the change coming in for the Rat King. Rat King is on Bastion, so at least got that one right. And they are able to mow through that shield, mow through that wall, rather. Something they could not do on Samoan. It allows Blakey Blakey time to get back and healed up. So a good change working out here in the opening 30 seconds from Center College as they look to move on to this point. Looks like they're split up by a wall from last at the moment. Mortality Field has to be used. Health bars are still low. Blakey Blakey gets found out. Last is going to land the ice sickle, put the tank down. Sparrow finds Rat King as well as Doodoo Booter. Whew. 
Uh, the tracking from this, oh my god. Okay, I thought was going to talk about this, the Sparrow tracking, but last, once again, another icicle to the dome. Jeff, this May player is absolutely out for blood. It is absolutely bone-chilling how accurate they are. I haven't really had a chance to talk about the other side <laughs> copy of the Shinwet. Yep, but his last land's another incredible icicle. He's catching Duda Voodoo completely off guard. Zenacall is trying to attack this with Stark Garden on a Kiriko, so they're not using speed. It's I've seen the Lucio replaced uh, from a defensive point of view, but trying to attack with no speed could be difficult. We'll see how that plays out. I mean, I'd rather see the Ana here, uh, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, try to get a big bio nade on them. A big rock coming through and flux is available. Defensive wall has to be used. This is Blakey Blakey's go side. Sound barrier up to protect against the Gravitic Flux. Blakey Blakey lands on the statue. Now there's an immortality, excuse me, an amplification matrix in front of them, which Sparrow and Rockjaw are gonna use to great effect. Rockjaw just landing right hook after right hook. Big ol' uppercuts and decimating the lines of Center College. Oh my gosh, they got Annihilation online as well. They don't even have to use it. Halfway point here. Here in King's Row for the attack phase for Center College White, and they are no closer to getting themselves onto the point. They haven't even stepped foot on the point yet, Jeff. That is how dominant Lander University is bringing to this table. Now, they do have some initiators here. They've got the Kiriko Rush. They've also got the Ant Matrix of their own. I think uh, even more important is Blizzard's online for both sides. Every single one from last impeccable in our first map. Hiding on the statue. And this is going to be the time to go! Into the rush comes the snow, and the Bastion is frozen solid. Last will take that one out, but meanwhile on the front line, Center College are able to finally get a little bit of work done as they find a pair of kills. I don't know if it's going to be enough to get them onto the point right now, but it could buy them an opportunity here momentarily. Oh, but these late stackers might ruin that, Billy. And, I mean, they invested both their support ultimates once again, so I mean, this is absolutely devastating here for center college the good thing is that they got annihilation out they, there was enough loss there uh you know center college made them bleed made them pay for that fight win so they don't have to worry about that they have their uh they have their artillery strike ready to go blake and blake onto the doom fist this is something that i was expecting to see a little bit sooner yep basically you can get one good fight with it artillery strike start things off for center college but dude gets picked off again Last is just not missing with these icicles. Blakey Blakey has to throw that block up early. The Red King already gone. Blakey Blakey is now stuck in a corner. With less than 30 seconds to go, Center College are fumbling the bag right here. I am absolutely dev. I, I, I'm just shocked uh, because of how dominant Center College has been when we've seen them all season long. This is really telling to the strength of what these Bearcats from Lander University are bringing to this series. What a change. Coming through with the Ramatra instead of Sigma. Oh. The college able to get too early as Dudu Voodoo deflects onto both supports. What an opening as the swap to the Genji proven incredible value here. And Dudu Voodoo will buy another sliver of hope. Center College are going to get at least a couple of ticks. I mean, you are going to have a meteor strike. You've got a, a you've got I a very point. what Adama? What Adama? What are you doing? You already have your. Okay, not exactly sure what's going on there. I, I, I'm not sure what to tell you. I don't know. Maybe didn't didn't expect the entire team to to spawn in time. But Rat King uh, will get caught out trying to escape from that over aggression. And Lander University are now free to hold this archway. Yep, I mean, you've got some tools, though. you got the blade ready to go, but Sound Barrier is in the pocket. Also, the Artillery Strike and the Blizzard can great equalizers here for this fight. Voodoo working magic to even get Center College this far. Get a point on the board. Let's see if this Katana can bring some more. Up into the air, it is unsheathed, but the Sound Barrier will deflect a lot of the damage and dole the blade along with the Blizzard. Doodoo Voodoo just finds nothing. As the Magic Wand seems to have run out of Fairy Dust. It's going to be a Katsune Rush, but they're running right into an Annihilation. And Center College are scrambling to stay alive through all the damage coming through from Rockjaw and the rest of Lander University. Alice gets flattened by Meteor Strike. Sparrow goes down. Center College. Oh my goodness. They find themselves a small window and manage to get two kills out of it. Unbelievable turnaround. 
This is actually incredible what they're doing right now. Now they're going to be facing a, a Matrix and they don't care. They're just going to walk right through it. Center College's health bars were all so low during that annihilation, and Lander University just couldn't quite clean it up. I mean, big props to the back line from center, able to get everybody topped up, keep everybody alive in time for Dudu Boo to get it back, and even win that 4v5. Incredible turnaround. I mean, Jeff, the only reason why they stay up through that is because of the Kitsune rush that was out there and, and the, the slow down or the, the, the reduced cooldown time. That's the only reason why they make it through that. It did go off about two thirds of the way through that annihilation, but by then the damage had been done. You know, I mean, it's not just double attack speed, it's double healing speed as well. Uh, that is a huge purple as Shady has made a swapped over to an auto and Blake, who Blake, who's like, uh oh, no more healing for you. They are out of the fight, but Dudu Voodoo is still here. Lands that triple shot down and gets the dash on Rialis without a tank. Center College still managed to pull themselves back into an advantageous position. They're going to finish with time. I can't believe this. This is an incredible turnaround here from Center College. The Bearcats are reeling right now. They have, uh, I mean, they've swapped up to th three, uh, uh, I can do math, 60% of their composition here. Sparrow <laughs> on to this uh, Sombra. Trying to, you know, damn, uh, really deny a lot of the Doomfist work. Now, now you've got a Reinhardt bye bye Sparrow. Yeah, so Blakey Blakey just makes a swap. I like the swap here. Uh, not as much angles for Doom to work with, but also just looking at the comp they were running into. Didn't want to run Doom into Arisa. Although running a Reinhardt into an Arisa is not necessarily advisable. Adam Ogg gets found out with another incredibly accurate icicle. Death Blossom goes into the back. It's going to be the Javelin spin, pushes the Death Blossom right into the Lucio. Do eventually take Rat King down, but Center College tried to push out of the back end. Unfortunately for them, last had yet another Blizzard waiting for him. That Sparrow back over to the Bastion. Nope. I mean, this is uh, this is almost like Mystery Heroes right now. Uh, how much we're swapping and counter picking, I and mean, the chess match is afoot here. Doo Boodoo over, going to lock the legs. Now you're going to have the legs. You're going to have uh, the increased fire rate here from the Pulse Rifle when they let loose with this rush. If Rat King can close this distance, Katsune Rush with a Reaper is just unbelievably devastating. Earth's yeah. already out as we have a Torbjorn on the battlefield now for some reason. Katsune Rush into an Amplification Matrix. Utility already used here from the defensive lander. Now it's a support ultimate to try to break him back. But shots are landing. Rat King has already found two, including your Baptiste. Now it's the Reaper versus the Torb in the back. The Overload will scare Rat King away. Back on the front line, Rockjaw is less than half health. No armor to speak of. Has to use the Fortify and still not to keep alive. Stargarden finds last, and Center College find themselves another avenue of victory. They have pulled themselves up by their bootstraps to an impeccable degree, and now we're looking to finish this map. That's going to do it right there. No, there's a last second contest coming in, but the uh, Coalescence is out. Yeah, they were able to finish off Rialis in due time in a quick fashion. Not allow Rockjaw to make it back onto the point and continue to contest. Score. If they had, then there was a real possibility that Lander could have turned that around. Ultimates were coming online there for Lander University, but good focus fire from Center College, and they don't allow that last second stall. They clean up, and I mean, there was what, 10 seconds left on point A, and Center College had nothing, and they turn around and finish the map? Unbelievable. I mean, 10 seconds, uh, I mean, with nothing. They get it turned around by the Genji clock. They have what, just a few seconds left there in point B. They uh, close it with what, less than 10 seconds there. And then they go ahead and close it out. I and mean, yeah, it's in overtime. It's still, the job got done. Just a willingness to switch when it just wasn't working. That was absolutely perfect. Oh, and how many 4v5s did Center College win in that span as well? At least three. At least three separate occasions did Lander find the first pick and Center College win the engagement. Oh, man. Just great stuff from them. Uh, tenacity. I mean, the, the, this is probably one of their hardest matchups, other than maybe the Vikes from CSU. This is one of the hardest uh, matchups that they've actually had to face here uh, that we've seen this this fall semester jeff so man i mean it's time to get you know crack everything out get the hand warmers out make sure you got your gamer fuel in you and i mean we're on right now yeah, lander went from feeling very comfortable and on top to making a lot of swaps in the blink of an eye now coming out with a hanzo and sticking with the Arisa as they head on to the attack yeah, but I mean, going up against this, uh, going up against this Sigma, you know, you're going to have a really good advantage here, but the shield break potential here from the Hanzo is great, and that vision's going to mean everything. 
Rockjaw's gonna flank in through Hotel on the back of that recon arrow and looks just firmly entrenched in the back line. At Center College have turned all guns towards the Orisa. Has to use both cooldowns just to back up into Hotel and Center College managed to stay the course. Blake and Blake who finds a pair of kills on the back of the fight and are chasing down Lander. Yep, that's a fantastic win there. That's a team fight win. That's a first. Gong of Death, I, I kind of erroneously uh, called a, a gong earlier on Samoa. Nope, that's the first one of the day. And so now for Bearcats, I mean, that's a minute off the clock. You know, so far, so good for Center College White. Looking at you know the ultimate race right now, I think that, you know, Shady will probably be the first out the gate here. Having that amplification matrix, Blake Blake, he's going to have to make sure those cooldowns are in good order. I'm not far behind in the cold. Warrior is such an interesting pick. We'll touch on that a little bit later. Wheels down here for Sparrow, and it gets the shield and the kinetic grasp out for Blakeu Blakeu, but they are moments away from having their kinetic, uh, having their gravitic flocks. Wrecking tried to go in, but it has to back out. Dragon's now launched in as Adamac goes down. Star Guard's gonna be the only support here with a Gravitic Flux invested from Center College, but a sound barrier thrown in for Rialis and Lander do not look dissuade. Continuing to push on to the point, using an artillery strike to provide a little bit of cover. Wrecking manages to sneak underneath. There's a, a Kitsune rush in. Death Blossom at the ready, and Wrecking finds Rialis from range. Now is able to teleport in to go in and try to finish off the back line. Attention turned on to Shady. Won't be able to find it. Able to teleport out. Well, should I say uh, Wraith out with five <laughs> Nice rock. Oh, doesn't confirm the kill, though. Just such good healing there on the back of it. I mean, the amp heal there coming from Rialis was exactly what they needed. Now, both DPS ultimates ready to go here for Center College as we are now at the 145 mark. And they're going to be hoping they can get this Gravitic Flux online sooner than later. Attack Visor, yes from Dudu Budu. As Center College are holding very aggressively on the statue. Wrecking tries to drop Death Blossom, finds last. Rockjaw's gonna go down as well. Both of them fall. Rat King finds a three piece. Absolutely perfect timing. I mean, got absolutely clocked when they came out of that raid form into the Blossom. But the problem now is that they do have this Gravitic Flux online. Yeah, just got it whacked and almost went down. But it was great resources there once again from the healers here from Center College. We're now at the 105 mark. Amp Matrix and the Flux both ready to go. Over to the May. Gravitic Flux going to start things off from the defense. That found all five, and that will get the sound barrier out. Center College are a little low, though, and Rockjaw is going to respond. No support ults here to try to block this off. It's just going to take some natural oh, no. healing, and Star Garden was not able to provide it anymore. It's going to be up to Adamal to keep this team alive with a coalescence. It's not undoable. Center College continue to push forward and hold their ground. All attention turned on to Sparrow for the moment. Oop, got to turn around and hero up Rat King. Rat King was trying to keep Last from moving through Hotel while Sparrow takes down Dudubudu on the front line. Artillery strike from Sparrow and now find your other DPS. And Center College will fall apart here in the final seconds of their point A defense. Yeah, I mean, there's not going to be much difference between the two time banks uh, from when we got the no, payload underway. So, I mean, I mean fight win there. First Center College and how fast Adam has been generating these coalescences. Uh, I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it whatsoever. Now, the big problem is that they're running into a blizzard. That could buy them a lot of purchase here through the streets of London. So now it depends on how aggressive do Center College want to hold. Do they want to get this archway hold? I don't know if they've got the personnel to really hold it as well as they think they do. They're returning. They're returning. Center College are going to try. Nope. It looks like they're just going to fall back and hold Bookstore. Blake and Blake, who is out a very aggressive position, and the wall and Ant Matrix up means they're going to go down. Yeah, they were not anywhere near cover. And Landry University use their speed and rush in on top of the rest of Center College. They don't even have to invest their Blizzard. That is a great fight win. That is a fantastic turn of events here for Landry University. They're going to hold this account economic advantage over Center College. So I, oh, here's what I want to see. I want to see do 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 this once again, pull the resources out with this TAC Pfizer, maybe get a kill uh, if they can, and then let loose this Blossom. Oh, uh, but last can end it all with one good Blizzard. And so they rush out to start things off. We'll make it past last ice wall, but here comes the Blizzard in. That's got at least Star Garden in it. Dudu Budu manages to stay on the outside with the TAC Pfizer, but the South Barrier is too good here from Lander University. It's gonna be a Gravitic Flux invested oh. in a 3v5 that picks up one. 
But with an Annihilation out air, Lander University are on track to move, muscle their way inside the foundry. And they're going to do it a lot faster, too. I mean, they, they've got this fight win, and they've had two complete fight wins here through the streets. And they're going to have a you know about a minute and a half difference between what Center College had. Now, the, the payload did stall out once here uh, for Center College before they made the swap over to the Reinhardt composition. So, Blake Obliku is actually going to bring the Doomfist here. Oh, no. Rockjaw barely kept a pinky toe on dry land from that punch. That was so ridiculously close. Ooh, a lot of damage went into Rockjaw just there. Which kind of forces them to back up. That king. Waiting like an eagle above. Jumping down to strike on their prey. Gets found out. Push back, not able to use that death blossom. It's gonna be just forced back. Uh, Adamal using that fade to try to escape the punch from Rock Jaw. Death Blossom finally comes out. Does pick up Rialis. So not bad. Blaku Blaku will take down the other support as well. And the Wraithform used to escape the blizzard. Blaku Blaku manages to hang on through this until the artillery strike hit them in the head. But I think it's too little too late here for Lander University. I say that. Doo doo boo doo overextends as well, Billy. Gus, I mean, Sparrow coming up clutch there for the Bearcats. And now, Lander University, they're going to find this second corner. They're going to have a amp matrix poised to be let loose down the line. Blake Blake with the back says, I hate all of you. I mean, Meteor Strike landing right on the cart because it's the immortality field. Let's keep everybody alive. Throw it. Find Shane. Pushes them into the corner. What a good job of devaluing this amp matrix. Not allowing Lander to just sit comfortably behind and take advantage of the double damage. Down Baron now up in lieu of Shady not in this fight. Coalescence here for an off angle from Adam. But they take two good shots. Have to fade all the way back. Lander University not looking too worse for wear. But they're not able to push forward only four strong. Their fifth finally returning. Shady coming back on a Moira of all things. But now Sparrow falls. What a turnaround here, Jeff. This is a broken fight in, in the best way. I mean, everybody's just looking for their individual assignments. And Blake and Blake is just saying, you're not going anywhere, friend. Oh. Ow. Lass is going to feel that one in the morning. That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> I mean, and look at this. I mean, Blake and Blake has another get out of jail card or, you know, maybe assassinate the Bastion card as he's used it a couple times here uh, with the Meteor Strike. But last, another Blizzard online. This is going to be a very dynamic fight going in. It's going to be Annihilation to start things off. Gets in here, rush from Star Guard just before they go down. Dude, but who has the blade, but they can't get anywhere close. There was a Blizzard and an Annihilation, keeping the Genji from finding any value. Adama fades in. Death Blossom gets two. Punch into the back, and Rockjaw's going to go down as well. Center College will win King's Row. How the frick did that just happen? Oh my god. One minute we're looking at a 235 time bank, and the next thing you know, the swapping heroes from set. I mean, I, I am absolutely shocked uh, at what we're seeing here. Uh, th this is a. Uh, this is very Dallas Fuel. This is very Dallas Fuel. Hanbin would be very, very appreciative. Yeah, no, this is this is very Dallas Fuel. In fact, Center College going back over, uh, wrecking on the May this time around. With, oh, that's with the Who's sticking with the Reaper? Yeah, good rock. Dude, Buddha trying to move into the back of it, though. Wraith forms back out as Junker Queen shout from Rockjaw. Allowed Lander to surge forward here a little bit. Put some pressure down. Ooh, that Gracie almost landed, but Dudu Buddha manages to escape. Tries to come back in, but didn't get topped off on the health. And last, picks them off. First blood drawn here by Lander University and Servasa. And now they move forward to see if they can fight a little bit more. Well, I mean, wow, what great pursuit here. Lass is absolutely doing this once again. The, the synergy between Rockjaw and Lass is being shown once again, a 4K! That was nice. Hey, turns out Lass is good at other heroes besides just me. <laughs> uh, you know what else is good uh, is, is Rialis. And Rialis has been just an absolute steadfast member of this Lander squad. Has Sound Barrier ready to go into this engagement. Our guard not too far behind. They're called to try to come back in. We'll have one last chance here at our opening point. You're on Sir Awesome Market, that is. Last up top's gonna run Dudu Voodoo away and then descends from the heavens with a Death Blossom to finish them off. I put themselves behind enemy lines here a bit, but doesn't seem to be all that bothered by it. Nope, not at all. It just walks right through, and Rockjaw is the better tank right now. Uh, just absolutely claiming space and taking names. And I mean, you invest, uh, you did invest the Rampage, so, you know, 
it's kind of a kind of a win here for Center College, but they're looking like they're getting a little bit out comped once again. I mean, Land University beat them to the punch on Ultimates, who are more proactive with how they used them. They best too, and they get the point because of it. Lander still has plenty to work with, despite that that investment. I just find it so so intriguing that Lander University is actually mirroring what we saw, almost like from King's Row. Whoa! Oh! Completely get ripped it out. Did it get canceled? Yeah, it got completely canceled. Down barrier in to protect against the Redic Flocks, but it's Rat King's Blizzard who will have the last laugh. Bye bye, last. <laughs> what a great pick there coming out of Center College. I mean, we were talking about the icicles from last. Nope. <laughs> I can do that too, says Rat King. Oh, man. Yeah, canceling that rush. That, that just wanted that fight. And Lander invested heavily into that fight on top of it. Center College still have their sound barrier to work with a massive advantage when it's the only ultimate online. Yep, and I mean, nothing really close. I mean, last at 57% towards the Blossom, that's close, but I mean, Doodoo Boodoo is going to get there first. Well, it's already low. Lockjaw taking a bit of damage up front. Unless you're stuck around with the healers do their thing. Uses the shout, goes in. Trying to find somebody to carnage. It lands onto the Babti, or excuse me, landed onto Rat King, I believe that was. Eventually finished off by last, but last trades themselves for it. Two for two here, and we're left with three on each team on the point as Thudabudu tried to Death Blossom with sub wait, 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 wait. 5 health. Blanku Blanku's -Blank got one. It's going to be a swift step around. The, the carry is still low. Shady is healing from the outside. Blanku Blanku's second round at this point with 83% in building, but doesn't have their Moira any longer to try to top them off. So sustain notably lacking. Still Blanku Blanku does a good job to survive long enough for Stargarden to get back, who still has that sound barrier, mind you. Oh, they're going to have the coalescence into this fight as well. I mean, that, that'll gain them right there. Adam went from 91 to 98, and now they've got it online. They've got the tools here to go in. But the big kicker is that they don't have a Kiriko, and they've got a Rampage that they're going to be facing. I wonder if Center College oh, thought the Rampage was already online. Here comes the Blade from Sparrow. Took a lot of damage early, and the coalescence will finish them off. Rockjaw gets caught in this gravity clock. Two fall under the weight of that gravity. Center College are going to take this point, flip it, and tie us up at Suravasa. Yep, GG's. That's it. That'll be it right there. Uh, and, I mean, that's going to be the lead. Or, I'm sorry, that's the, that's the tie. As you mentioned, uh, really great patience shown by Star Garden here on the Lucio. Uh, holding that barrier to the very last second. They actually completely devalue that Rampage with the Gravitic Flux. Absolutely picture-perfect timing coming out of Blaku Blaku and company. And did Rockjaw even hit anybody with it, or did they get picked up before they they surged forward? They surged forward, and then it went up in the air. I heard the... Oh. I heard the, I heard the, heard the voice yeah. line, yeah. yeah. the voice line was there, but they got lifted instantly up. And I didn't see any purple. Oh, Blast has something to work with here. Let's see if their Death Blossoms are as good as their Blizzards. Oh, no. I mean, oh, trying to move in on the back of that continuing rush, but the rush got blocked by a wall. It is not on this point. Still Shady is able to pick up one. Death Blossom is on Doodoo Boodoo's head. It was literally standing on Doodoo Boodoo's shoulders when they hit Q. Well, I mean, they hold on to their, their Blizzard, so, I mean, they've got a re-engagement tool coming in here, but the Sound Barrier is ready to go for that. Last is decided they've had enough of Reaper Jail and going back to their tried and true... So, I mean, we've got a May Genji up against a May Reaper. Oh, man, this is getting better by the moment, Jeff. I mean, Last did such a good job of making Blaku Blaku's life incredibly difficult uh, in our first map of Samoa with those walls. And these chokes are so tight, and the accuracy is so good. Sargard already falls. Blizzard invested in here from Rat King, but there's nobody left to follow up on it. Oh, well, it's invested in as well. Rialis is going to fall. You still have both supports are left here for Center College. Blakey Blakey goes down. No, Stargarden went in the fight. Stargarden had just respawned. So now it was just the two of them. Now both supports have to reset. Yep. I mean, now you're going to have sound barrier difference. Once again, you're going to have the blade online. I mean, we'll see this time. Blakey Blakey actually gives up Gravitic Flux to go over to the Doomfist. So they're looking to maybe cancel out this rampage that they know is coming up online. I, I'm liking this chest once again. Doodoo Boodoo back over to the Genji. We saw how impactful it was there on A on King's Row. Flashpoint Garden. Does mean Center College have completely reset their ultimate economy. Now this next checkpoint does kind of favor Center College as far as where it's located. Center College are going to be able to get positioned on this point first, but 
Lander have so many tools. Most notably, oh my this God. rampage and last does it again. How many times is Last going to pick off a support before the fight even begins? The Salmir are used aggressively here from Lander, and they're going to get first control at this point. Oh, man. Just absolutely brutal there on the approach. It is, once again, a first, pi uh, first pick coming out from Last with that Icicle. The Blizzard's already online. They just swapped to it. How do they keep getting away with this? Just insane. Maybe the best May in the Emergence Division. Last ha has been a, a cornerstone for this later University squad all series. Down low here, Dude Boodoo will pick off that VIP. Rockjaw does trade it back out. Both teams missing a DPS. Rockjaw is going to pick up two with that, and both of them get cleansed immediately by Star Garden. But Rockjaw's still there, still just as deadly, whether the Rampage landed or not. Oh man, that was, I mean, it was a great Suzu, but I mean, just the healing resource is just not there for them. It was perfectly timed there from Rockjaw. It just got a quarter uh, towards their next one, just in the finish on the back of that. So now it's a blizzard. Doo doo boo doo. Can you get a deflect here? You guys are looking very worse for wear. Can you deflect blizzard? I don't know. Yeah, you can. Know, I know most interactions, and that one actually made me question. That's our second guessing. Wrecking already died here from Sparrow, by the way. <laughs> Whoops! Well, uh, I Overtime think actually... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see if Center College can pull it back after that one. Star Garden is able to pick up one. I was like, kind of speechless after that. Uh, blade draw, doo doo boo Look at a cut through him. Finds only one, unfortunately, here for Center College. Landry University stands all. Uh, excuse me, Blakey Blakey has returned. Rat King gets cut down by Gracie. Blakey Blakey dancing around the carnage block up and trying to stall for long enough for reinforcements to get here. Unfortunately, it will not. Land University will take this map and regain their lead during the semifinals. Yep, they take a, they're, they're going to match point now. So we will see how he uh, does defense that's... matrix eat Gracie. No. I don't know that so. answer to that question. Does honestly. it? Does it eat? Does it eat? Gracie? It's a projectile. Okay. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I mean, sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, here we are uh, trying to figure out what what can actually be eaten by the defense matrix or can I have grasp? Uh, I, regardless, we'll find out what they're going to do here. See, I thought it. I thought it was more on with like a like a road hard hook. Like a road hard uh, hook is still technically a projectile, but you can't defense matrix it. But it's still attached to Roadhog. That's I think that's why. Um, that that's a whole different conversation we can have uh, it, during our I like theory chats. Crafting. I Speaking of it. theory crafting, like, look yeah. at this composition from Lander. Uh, I'll like this, this is like gonna a, be a die friendly map. Wait, this is gonna Star, be fun. Star is on the Sojourn. Oh, I like this pick a lot, but I like Sparrow coming out on the tracer. This is so evil. Yeah, which it means the Sojourn pick is actually pretty smart. Sojourn yep. can dance around uh, a Tracer pretty well and put a lot of pressure down. So, And then, of course, Sparrow is going to have to be very concerned about that Railgun shot. Rockjaw is going to come in from behind and just land on a pile of people here. Uh, attention turned on to Adam on the Kiriko. Boop them, kind of displace them out of it. Push them in front of Landry University. Adam barely manages to get out of that one alive. Blake Blake who gets anti by Shady. Doo -doo 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 falls. So Center College are kind of getting beat up here right out of the gate. Not sure that they were expecting this dive composition out of Lander. They seem to have been kind of caught with their pants down a bit. I mean, they, they weathered the first pile drive in, but after that, I mean, the rest of the composition has reared its head. Oh my god, Last is absolutely flaming them right now. Well, Center College were all just bunched up in front of the clock tower, and Lander University hit them from all sides. Yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of brutal. This is kind of brutal. I, they may uh, they may get to the 30 meter mark here uh, before we really see a good in, in, uh, engagement coming from Center College. And look at this duplicate already online for last. What can't this DPS player play? No kidding. Another bio nade lands on to Blakey Blakey. But opening pick goes oh, into Center College's favor, but a double kill from the Pulse Bomb just evens the odds. Out of Sparrow. Duplicate in. And Sparrow picks up a third. Last is going to imitate a Doom Fist here. The Doppelganger might just get the better end of the deal. Absolutely does. It is still working on the back end of it. Got the Meteor Strike to go. 
Oh, Red Four from Duda Voodoo is they are running for their lives, but no sanctuary, no safe haven for Center College, and this bot continues to march on forward. I mean, we're looking at the, the pulse bomb just came out, picked up two, already 55% towards the next one. Last gets the work done on the duplicate Doomfist, and now you've got Nano engaged. I mean, where do you honestly go? I think that you maybe keep Rialis alive. Well, I say that as Adam uh, lands a headshot. Center College have been focusing down the brig. Brings only halfway to their first rally. Uh, kind of caught the ire uh, of all of Center College. Nanobo ends up going on to Rockjaw. JD Falls uh, still a plus one after losing Blake to Center College. We've seen them pull fights around before without their tank. That kill on the last is a good step. As Dudabudu won that duel with 25 health remaining. Love it. And now you've got the Death Blossom and the, uh, well, you've got Rat King available here with a coalescence time. There's a lot of sustain here in this fight. I think that you go in with just the Kitsune Rush to start out here uh, and see what you get done. But, I mean, Rockjaw is going to be able to lock down the point with these mines. Oh, that could devalue the Kitsune Rush so heavily, especially if Center College aren't careful and aren't looking for it. All right, mines are going to get used early. I think that's actually really fortunate here for Center. Uh, but... Not for Doodoo Boodoo, apparently. Shady ends up picking up that kill, and the rest of Center College are kind of starting to back up a little bit. I think Rat King is wanting to pop this Coalescence. Looking for an opportunity to try to... Oh, no! Respond! But the Sleep Dart is too good! Rat King will get mowed down! Trying to pop the coal, and the Sleep Dart was perfect! Unreal timing out of Shady, and this Kitsune Rush is not going to get anything. Lander University have another duplicate to move in with, and they dominate that fight. That's just dirty. That's just dirty, and they're going to pick up the checkpoint here. I'm pretty sure of it. I mean, the pursuit is just too good. Three ultimates invested from center as well, Billy. I mean, the uh, the economy is just it's just brutal, uh, you know. And I mean, Rialis is now coming up onto uh, the uh, onto the rally. Four minutes, four minutes to get a rally. By the way, <laughs> I think that you've just been on shady protection duty. No, oh, no, absolutely, and Rouse has definitely been the focus from Center College. Good bio nade, Stargard, no way you survived that. Shady has been spectacular, almost has another nano boost ready to go. Just use the last one onto the Wrecking Ball. Nice focusing beam, we'll finish off Adamal with ease, and Lander University have all the room in the world to work. And they've got Mines and the Rally ready to go. They're going to have another Pulse Bomb online. We just saw last with a duplicate of the Sojourn. Now we're at 66% and counting towards a third duplicate here in the first five minutes of this map absolutely cracked play coming out of last it might just take the mvp away from this match if this play continues exceptional on all three heroes we've seen last play that focus beam's not going to do it though good healing coming out of rat king to get blake who swapped over to an arisa by the way them alive and standing. Duplicate now used as a doppelganger reaper is in your midst and Stargarden falls. A beautiful headshot out of the shotguns. Now it turns their attention back to the front line. Three players in the pile drive. Suzu keeping them alive through the reaper shotguns, at least the imitation ones. Now Coalescence used. Rylus is going to respond with a rally. Finally pulling that one to bear, but an overclock from Stargarden might just stop landing in their tracks. One's already down. Bionade used on to Rat King, but Center College continue to put pressure on. Finding that cure on to Rialis will only propel them further as they finally win a fight. I mean, they fi they finally stabilized, and now it's all about pursuit. It's about getting who you can out of these next couple of engagements. I mean, the, really, the best scenario here for Center College is to send somebody forward and see if they can't get this uh, forward spawn negated and start getting a little bit more work to on their own end. They do have Kitsune Rush and a Blossom ready to go here. The mines aren't online yet. Shady might have to step up big again. Well, they're no stranger to do it, so that's for sure. Oh, that was almost a one clip on a doo-doo voodoo from Sparrow. Sparrow took a good amount of damage on their own, right? Had to back out last. Pushing around to the backside with a flank. Wants to find Rat King and will get it. Those are the flurry of stickies down onto doo, doo Boodoo, who's looking to pursue, but a duplicate in tow onto the Eraser gives a second life here to last. And eventually they're going to win that out. No way. They're going to get the kill out of the Arisa too. Last continues their MVP performance here on Esperanza. Four duplicates so far. That all out of is different heroes. All different heroes. Yeah, I was just about to throw that one in there. And now they've got the mines ready to go. I mean, so Rat King will probably have to, you know, burn their, uh, burn their fade 
uh, just to get away from that. This uh, this has got to be a huge, a huge blossom. It's not going to be. No, it gets booped way by Rialis and gets Bionated. We'll take out Shady, so some of the sustain is absent here from Lander University. Still, they managed to clean up despite the lack of healing. Blake and Blake who tries to invest. In fact, a couple of ults invested here from Center College to try to stem the bleeding. Not a whole lot to be found. Rialis does fall, though, so at least one step in the right direction for Center College, but there's still more work to be done. I mean, there's only, there's only a handful of meters left here, and I mean, Dude Voodoo coming out onto a Soldier 76, uh, looking to help take Last out of the sky. That's got to be the only reason why you would lock the, lock this down. Well, now Last is nano boosted and is on top of your supports. Melt Star Garden with a perfect set of volleys and focusing beam. Arrow getting in on the action as well. Adam, I'm trying to fade away. This is looking dud and dusted. This is looking like the Bearcats moving on to the Grand Finals as they are moments away from completely capping Esperanza. The Soldier 76 won't get back in time. Stargard does make it there to contest. Coalescence out, but a bio name means Stargard's not getting any healing. Oh so my god! Low, and Sparrow lands the pulse bomb. The Coalescence has to teleport onto the objective just to try to stall it out. Blake and Blake is back here with Fortify, but Duda Boodoo gets crushed to a pulp. Blake and Blake is alone, surrounded by Lander University as they celebrate a victory here in the semifinals. We will see them move on. That is uh, only two maps dropped this entire fall semester, Jeff. Last is your MVP. There, I won't be taking any comments, anything else. Absolutely magnificent. You won't get any argument out of me. Nah. Look at that stick, though. That was, a, that was a yeet and a half. Wow. <laughs> you know what I was really.